What's up, people? Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you about 1975's Shivers. Now, this is partially going to be a review of the movie, as well as a review of this new Vestron Collector Series Blu-ray release. A parasite is infecting the residents of a highfalutin, high-rise apartment building, turning everyone into crazed sex fiends. And no, there are no vacancies. I've already checked. Writer-director David Cronenberg, known for films like Videodrome, Scanners, The Fly, and the critically acclaimed A History of Violence, made a pretty auspicious directorial debut with Shivers. Shivers is a hard film to pin down. While you'd most likely find it in the horror section of your local video store, if there were still video stores, I've personally never thought of Shivers as a horror movie. Shivers has all the accoutrements of a 70s exploitation film, but beneath all that red paint blood, naked people running around in crazed euphoric trances, and taboos aplenty, Shivers is an allegory for sexual liberation, the antiseptic state of modern living at least in the 1970s, and how conformity has dulled our basest human instincts. All that fancy talk aside, you can take in Shivers kinda like a zombie movie. But instead of eating flesh, the infected would rather tear off your clothes, get freaky with you, and then puke a slug down your throat. I bet I had you right up to that whole puking a slug down your throat thing, right? Shivers is full of striking visuals and memorable moments, such as when Barbara Steele's evening bath is interrupted by a slug who swims right up her... I can't whistle. Or when a food delivery man is attacked by a really worked up old woman who's hungry. We see kids in dog collars and a father and daughter doing things that a father and daughter should never do. The last act of Shivers is also quite strong, giving the film a kind of Omega Man nightmarish quality. I'm sure we've all had that dream where you're trapped inside a confined space and there's no place left to run and nowhere to hide from it. Cronenberg has stated that the infected people in Shivers are really the film's heroes, ushering in a sexual awakening and revolution, and those who fight against it are the real villains of the piece. And if you look at the movie that way, the finale of Shivers is... A happy ending. Considering Shivers was Cronenberg's directorial debut, it's quite an accomplished film. Cronenberg manages to create a great amount of tension, and setting the film inside an apartment building creates a palpable claustrophobia, particularly toward the end of the film. The cast all deliver good performances, the pacing is pretty tight, and Shivers is just the kind of movie that gets under your skin. Interesting side note, Shivers was co-produced by Ivan Reitman. Ghostbusters, Stripes, Kindergarten Cop, that Ivan Reitman. I used to say that early Cronenberg was an acquired taste, but I've changed my mind in the case of Shivers. Sure, it's not going to be for everyone, but it's a movie that should be considered required viewing if you're a horror fan. As far as presentation is concerned, we've got some really cool artwork on the slipcase for the Shivers release. Being terrified is just the beginning. On the back of the release, we have the plot synopsis. We've got Three images from the film, the list of special features, and the technical specs. The sleeve features the same artwork that is on the slipcase on the front and the back. The sleeve is not reversible. There is the Blu-ray for Shivers, and there is the digital copy. Have at it. First come, first served. The back of the release doesn't note any kind of new transfer or elaborate restoration. It just says 1080p high definition presentation, but I thought the picture quality on this release was really good. I'd give it a solid 4 out of 5. Same for the audio quality. I thought Shivers looked and sounded great on this release from Vestron Collector Series. As far as extras are concerned, first up we get Mind Over Matter, an interview with David Cronenberg. It's 12 minutes and 1 second in length. Mr. Cronenberg discusses getting Shivers set up at Cinepix and the difficulty of getting the film financed. He discusses all he learned from the film's producers, including Ivan Reitman. He discusses how a negative review of Shivers cost him two years before he could get his next film, Rabid, made and more. Next, we have Goodnight Nurse, an interview with actress Lynn Lowry. It's 16 minutes and 54 seconds in length. Ms. Lowry discusses being contacted by Ivan Reitman to be in Shivers. She discusses working with David Cronenberg. She discusses how much she loved her character in Shivers. She discusses the apartment building they shot the film in, the finale, how grateful she is to have been part of Shivers, and more. Next, we have Outside and Within, an interview with special makeup effects creator Joe Blasco. It's 12 minutes and 55 seconds in length. Mr. Blasco discusses reading the script for Shivers and thinking that it was a porno. And the only thing that sealed the deal for him to work on the movie was the fact that Barbara Steele had been cast. 
He discusses working with David Cronenberg, how the effects in the film were achieved, and he actually produces one of the slugs used in the movie and more. Next, we have Celebrating Cinepix, the legacy of John Dunning, an interview with Greg Dunning. It's 10 minutes and 5 seconds in length. Mr. Dunning discusses his father's partnership with Andre Link, how Cinepix was always at odds with censors and the government, the box office success of Shivers, the John Dunning Foundation for First-Time Filmmakers, and more. Next, we have an archival 1998 interview with David Cronenberg. It's 21 minutes and 16 seconds in length. Mr. Cronenberg discusses taking the script for Shivers to Cinepix and that it took three years for them to agree to allow him to direct it. He discusses meeting Barbara Steele in L.A. He describes how making Shivers and Rabbit was his film school. He discusses casting the film, one of the actresses requesting for him to slap her and slap her very hard during one of the emotional scenes in the film, the special effects in Shivers, and more. We get a still gallery with an optional archival interview with executive producer John Dunning, trailers, TV spots, and radio spots, and we get two audio commentaries, one with David Cronenberg and one with co-producer Dan Carmody. I listened to about 30 minutes of the commentary with Mr. Cronenberg. It was very insightful, very informative, and very entertaining. This is a very nice Blu-ray release for Shivers from the fine folks over at the Vestron Video Collectors series. If you're a fan of Shivers, this is an absolute no-brainer. Both the picture quality and the sound quality are good, and we've got plenty of extras on here for you to sink your teeth into. If you've seen Shivers, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. If you've already picked up this Blu-ray release, let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments section below also. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A big thank you to all my awesome Patreon supporters. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for monthly live streams and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Patreon.com forward slash Pizal or follow the link in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.